A very good day to everyone. Here we are again at Super Rich God, the voice of God. Today, we will talk about cleansing the church. Amen. Sino ba ang church? Ikaw at ako, tayo ang church. Amen. Hindi po yung building. Yan po ay templo, hindi po yan church. Ang church ay ikaw at ako na tumanggap kay Kristo. Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man sowed good seed in his field. One night when everyone was asleep, then an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the plants grew and the head of grain began to form, then the weeds show up. The man's servant came to him and said, Sir, it was good seed you sow in your field. Where did the weeds come from? It was some enemy who did this. He answered, Do you want us to go and pull up the weeds? They asked him, No. He answered, Because as you gather the weed, you might pull up some of the wheat along with them. Let the wheat and the weeds both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvest worker to pull down, to pull up the weeds first. Tie them in bundles and burn them. And then to gather in the wheat and put it in my barn. Amen? So dito pinakikita ang kaharian ng Diyos na merong uh, masamang damo at in, in, naihalo ng kaaway sa mga trigo, sa, sa trigo, sa mabuting tani, taniman. Amen? At dito sabi nga, ay, ay bubunutin ko na yung masasama, yung mga, mga masamang damo. Ang sabi ng Master Huwag, haya mo silang sabay na lumaki at pag malaki na sila, ating hiwalayin ang mga masamang damo at ating susunugin at atin namang titipunin ang mga trigo. Amen? According to Matthew 13:47 to 50, Also, God's kingdom is like a net that was put into the lake. The net catch many different kinds of peas. It was pulled, so the fisherman pulled it to the shore. They sat down and put all the good peas in basket. Then they threw away the bad peas. It will be the same At the end time, the angels will come and separate the evil people from the godly people. They will throw the evil people into the place of fire. There the people will cry and grind their teeth with pain. Amen? The good and the bad. Sabi nga nila, the good and the ugly. And in Matthew 11, 18 to 19, For John come, neither eating nor drinking, And they say he has a demons. The son of man came eating and drinking. And they say, look, a gluten and a white wine biber. A friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her children. Binigyan tayo ng karunungan mga kapatid. Bakit po? Dito po makikita natin si John the Baptist. Siya ay hindi nakikihalubilo. Sabi ng mga tao, siya ay may demonyo sa kanyang katawan. Nang ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay kumain at ay pag-inuman sa mga unbeliever, ang sabi nila, siya ay matakaw, siya ay lasenggo. Grabe, pero sabi ng Diyos, but wisdom is justified by her children. Ibig sabihin po, binigyan tayo mga anak ng Diyos ng karunungan. Kaya hindi ta pa tayo uh, mag- mag-justify ng ating pakikikompromise sa mga nasa mundong ito. We are of the world but not with the world. Amen? Amen? 
Colossians chapter 6 verse 4 to 5, Don't compare yourself with others. Just look at your own word to see if you have done anything to be proud of. You must each accept the responsibilities that are yours. Amen? Kung ano yung pinagagawa sa'yo ng Diyos, yun lang ang gawin mo. Amen? Amen? Tingnan mo yung sarili mo, huwag mong tingnan yung ginagawa ng ibang kristyano, yung ginagawa ng ibang na, na masasama. Hello? Ayaw ng Diyos na hiwalayan mo yan, kaya kung nagtataka ka, bakit yung isang member ganyan? Bakit yung isang member ganito? Bakit ang sama na ugali niya? Bakit yung isang sister ganyan? Huwag po. Ang gawin mo daw, sabi sa Galatians 6, to 5, ha? You must each accept the responsibilities that are yours. Dito po ating pag-aralan, four di- different kind of personality who follow Jesus. Hello? Or four personality of Christian sa loob ng church. First, there are those that have truth in their heart and respect and submit to the word. These are the good sheep like John the Beloved and this make the Lord happy by their submission and obedience. They really want sin out of their lives and they become authentically clean by allowing God to expose it daily in prayer. They change their character to be worthy to be called a Christian and to lead and teach. Few times do these follower leaders ever need to have pointed out their sin. But wait, don't you think, yes, I am like that. I am the good one. Few people really are this matured spiritually. Recall Proverbs 20 verse 6, Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. Itong ating unang klase ng ta- kristyano. Hello? Sasabihin mo, ako yan. Ako yan. Hello? Tingnan natin yung padalwang klase. These are the one who want to be first. Instead of trusting in the authority of God chosen one, they want to challenge and show up the authority they assume. This kind of person minimizes or abuses those with the authority over them. Do you recall how James and John and their mother argue over who would have the most power in heaven? In Mark 10:36. What kind of a manipulating mother was that? There are always people concerned about who is first and they want it to be one of them. They want to dominate. Usually, they want the title and honor but without the responsibilities. But Jesus said, The first are last and he that is greatest among you should be your servant. Could this power-seeking person be you? That means the church. Hindi sila sumusunod, mukha lamang. Pero ang gusto nila, hamunin ang ating pagiging leader. At gusto lang nilang makilala, magkaroon ng title na sila ay makilala sa buong daigdig, na sila ay lingkod ng Diyos, wherein mali ang kanyang naiisip. At yung patatlo, then there are the deceptive one. These are people who pretend to be good and follow the leader but they follow for some other personal agenda. Do you recall that Judas was a silot? He wanted Jesus to help him accomplish his agenda of obtaining power for the Jews to dominate Rome. He followed Jesus, but he was not really one with him. His evil heart never converted, and he was not really supporting Jesus to spread God's kingdom, to win soul through preaching the word. He always contradicted Jesus when he didn't like something. Like over the oil that Mary Magdalene used to wash Jesus' feet with. With that incident, his, he self-righteously wanted to show up that he would give to the poor. You see, he wanted oil the people to see that he had more compassion than Jesus. When Jesus would not do what he wanted in the end, he betrayed him. Could this ulterior motive person be you? Iba ang motibo. Ang motibo lang niya ay makilala at sumikat. Glory to me. Deceptive. As if they are faithful. 
Hello. As a, as a prophet or as a, a leader, a mature leader, we discern them. And we will not compromise our calling. We will rebuke them and tell them the truth. If we want to help them, tell them the truth. And lastly, the fourth personality. Then there are the so-called believers. The distant followers. The non-committed. They follow no leader very long. There was a time that there were 70 disciples instead of 12 until Jesus gave a sermon that was too hard for them. These are the comfortable Christians that just so far and no farther kind that are not willing to go all the way. John 6:65 to 68 And he said, Therefore say I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the word of eternal life. Amen? So we have to discern the true disciple and follower. I always tell my, my leader, the leadership of our church, I will tell my mentor I, I, what I'm doing outside the ministry, what I'm doing in the kingdom of God is to spread the word of God and I follow all your principle. Hello? Amen? Those that leave the churches or go shopping from church to church do not want to commit nor submit to anything nor anyone. In the end, these misguided ones are not really obeying Jesus nor doing a word for Him on earth. They want blessing from God, but they are not sending saved soul to the bank of heaven by their lack of commitment. They never bring even one soul to the church. If somebody is not bringing even one soul to the church, be careful for that guy. Hallelujah. I believe and I declare that every one of you that are listening today, you have changed your mindset. Today, you are the real submitted follower of Christ, the follower of, your, of the church that God assigned to you. Amen. Today, God is telling, calling us to higher level of service. Are you going to look more at the sin of others than the sin in your own life? Before we look at other uh, uh, wrongdoing, let's check up our own self first. Then if we are not that perfect, we have to change our self first before we rebuke other people. Do you want other, others to de- deal with harshly when they sin? But we all know you would never tolerate your own medicine. Matthew 7.2 For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. It is better to err on the side of mercy than to err on the side of judgment. How will God judge you? Have you said wrong things to someone and sin? Now is the time to come clean. Even if you confess something and the one you think is guilty should confess and they don't, Leave it to God. He knows how to deal with them. Maybe they are confessing and you do not know it. Are you guilty of following Jesus for the power, your agenda or comfortableness? Now is the day to change and become a submitted one willing to die for our Lord. All of the games of human nature are exposed in the Bible and you and God knows where you stand in your position of submission and remission of sins. Be a real leader. The paradox is submission and belonging to Jesus equals real freedom. You lead others on what you follow. Do not let yourself and your plan remain your plans. You will pass and be forgotten. Only what is done for Jesus will last. Obey Jesus today. I will end up my message today on Philippians 2, verse 12 to 18. My dear friends, you always obey what you were taught. Just as you obey when I was with you, it is even more important for you to obey now that, 
that I am not there. So you must continue to live in a way that give meanings to your salvation. Do this with fear and respect for God. Yes, it is God who is working in you. He helps you want to do what pleases Him. And He gives you the power to do it. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you will be blameless and pure. Children of God without any fault. But you are living with evil people all around you who have lost their sense of what is right. Among those people you shine like light in a dark world and you offer them the teaching that gives life. So I can be proud of you when Christ come again. You will show that my word was not wasted, that I ran in the race and won. Your faith makes you give your lives as a sacrifice in serving God. Maybe I will have to offer my own life with your sacrifice. But if that happen, I will be glad and I will share my joy with all of you. You also should be glad and share your joy with me. Philippians 2.12-18 My brother and sister, who will clean the church? It's our Lord Jesus. Amen? Just be responsible for what God has ordained you to do for Him. Are you bringing lost soul to the kingdom, to the church? Are you doing it as a faithful followers of Christ? You can tell me you are a faithful follower of Christ. And I will tell you, as you follow the leadership of the church, you are really following our Lord Jesus. My brother and sister, I believe God is cleansing the church nowadays. And it starts, I don't know when, but I know it starts from you and from me. Let us cleanse the church and pray again and again for God to clean the church. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Kabalisahan tako pangamba Puso ay tuliro Walang maaasahan man Buti na riyan na love kita Love na love kita Love